internet technologies using browsers. As heard before, browsers allow users to be able to see web pages on the internet. Examples of web browsers include Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, and Internet Explorer. All web browsers have typical features that you can set. I am going to use Internet Explorer to demonstrate some of these features. Let's start with favorites. In Internet Explorer, they are called favorites. Favorites are websites that you often visit, that you add to the favorites bar, and that gives you a direct link to this web page in future. In certain other web browsers, it is called bookmarks. Another feature is history. History allows you to see all the websites that you have visited in a specific period of time. Let's look at today. We have visited a lot of Google sites. In other words, we have used Google to be able to find all our websites. These are the last sites visited. You can see the feeds of your current web browser. Feeds are automatically given updates that come to your web browser without asking for it. You see the favorites in a different position now, but these are the same favorites that you would find over here. You could change the home page of your browser. As you see, our current home page is Google. That means every time you open your web browser, it will go to google.co.za. You can change your home page by going into advanced settings. You can either stand on the web page and select it to be the home page, or you can go to tools and internet options and specify the home page that you want over there. Another feature of a web browser is a pop-up blocker. A pop-up is something that appears on your web browser without asking for it. It usually contains advertisements for marketing. You can choose for your web browser to not display these pop-ups. Therefore, it will be called a pop-up blocker. In Internet Explorer, you will find it under Tools, Pop-up blocker, and either turn off the pop-up blocker or turn on the pop-up blocker. If you want to see more settings, you will click on the pop-up blocker settings and there you can specify exceptions for the pop-ups. Certain websites need pop-ups to be able to work. Some more features are blocking websites. Certain websites automatically appear on your web browser. They are the ones that could contain viruses. To stop that from happening, you would in Internet Explorer go to Tools, Internet Options, click on Security and determine which sites you want to block and which sites are trusted. Your web browser saves a temporary version of your website. Therefore, at regular intervals, you have to delete your temporary files. That is called caching. In Internet Explorer, you would go to Tools, Internet Options, General, and Delete Browsing History on Exit, or just delete it for the current circumstances. Browser plugins 
are additional pieces of software that add extra capabilities to your web browser, such as the most common one, which is Adobe Flash Player. I am going to show you a website that needs the Adobe Flash Player add-on. This is a website that has 3D animations. And once you click on any of these animations and you do not have the add-on of Adobe Flash Player, these animations will not work. Be aware of the add-ons that you install since not all of them are safe.